Hey guys, it's Jen, and I'm excited to bring you another stash kit. My November stash kit is going to be a Christmas kit. Um, I don't scrapbook Christmas that often. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I always try to do December daily and I never finish it. Um, but I like to scrapbook my my photos in a traditional style, 12 by 12 or something like that. And there's always more than what December daily can, there's more story than what December daily can tell for me. And so there's always leftover photos, but like I said, I rarely even finish my December dailies. But I thought it would be nice to, I'm kind of getting in the holiday spirit now that Halloween is over, um, <clears throat> because that's how I do it, and I'm um, starting to listen to Christmas music and stuff. And so I thought it would be fun to scrap some Christmas photos. And I recently bought um, some of the new Chamel, what is her Christmas line called? Christmas Magic line from American Crafts. And um, I, I'm starting this kit out a little bit differently because I already have a page in mind that I want to make with these certain papers. And so I'm going to start with those papers because I already know that I want to use them for a Christmas layout. So we're going to, I'll start with the patterned papers and then we'll go through to um, some specialty papers and some some cardstock and stuff like that. And then we'll go through to embellishments. So. We're gonna start with the pattern paper. This video this video might get a little bit long because I like to take you through the entire process of me choosing. I think that you guys enjoy that. And so, um, yeah, take a seat, relax, get a warm blanket, sweatshirt on or something like that. So I want the feel of this kit to be warm, but also with a little bit of aqua in it. When I decorate for Christmas, I like to use um, wood and gold kind of and so that's kind of the feel I want to have for this kit so these four papers are from the Chamel true stories true stories not true stories Christmas magic collection that I want to use for this and I'm gonna start with these as my foundation for the kit I do know I want to bring in some traditional color as well with green and it's on the back of these papers if I decide that I want to use any of the backs of these you can see the backs are a lot richer, but I tend to like a lighter feel. And so I, I really love this collection because you can get both. So I'm starting with these four papers and these are a good base to start with because I've got a stripe, which I always like to include, a text, which I always love, something that works well for a background and then something with a larger pattern. So to add to this, I want some um, smaller, tighter patterns. I want something with um, multiple colors in it. So I'm going to look through my different patterned papers and see what might work. Um, I don't have a lot of Christmas paper in my stash. And so I've pulled what I have and I'm just going to look through it with you and we'll decide what works and what does not work. So I'm going to put it off to the side and we'll pull each piece in one at a time. This is from Bella Boulevard from I think last year or year before and you can see right away that there's these bright pinks and the aqua would work but the bright pink is really throwing me on this one so I don't think that this will work for this kit. It's a little bit too cutesy for the feel that I'm going for so I'm going to put this aside. Um, I have this pattern paper from Close to My Heart, which is really cute, and it goes nicely with the kit. I think both sides would work really nicely, but I already have a candy cane stripe, so I am going to eliminate that one. Let's see. This is one I actually got this year, so I think I'm going to be using this. This is from October Afternoon Storytelling, and I love this because it, it brings in that heavy element, the darker, and there, I know I already have a text, but this is a really big text. I can cut some of these out if I want to, or I can leave them whole like that. Um, the back side is just a nice uh, pattern that I could use as well. So this is definitely, I think, going to stay. Um, let's see what else we have here. I have this pattern, which is from this is a newer one too. I This is the first year that I bought Christmas paper in a long time, so I do have some new stuff. Um, this is from Photoplay, which I think is a newer company. I hadn't heard of them before. Um, it's called Dear Santa. Now this side is really similar to this Chamel 
patterned paper. Um, this side is very different, but I think I'm going to exclude it just because I already know that I want to use this one. This is really cute though, and I will definitely use it for something else. So here is a pattern paper that is not a Christmas paper. This is from the Glitz, um, oh, I can't remember what the line was called. But I think I'm gonna include this paper for now. One, because I don't have a geometric print yet, and I like that it brings in a bit of this darker green. I do wanna bring in an element of green to this, so we'll see as I, as I add papers whether this one stays or not. But for now, I think I'm going to include it. I like the pattern. I think that the black on the background could easily be used for photo mats or different things like that, so I am going to include that paper in this. I'm going to move these over so that we can have a little bit more space to see what we're doing here. Okay, next I pulled this paper, which is from the Amy Tangerine Cut and Paste line. And it, it, I pulled this for a background. I always like to include a couple of pattern papers that could be backgrounds. And so I think I'm going to leave this for now. I'm not sure about the coloring on this. I may end up excluding it if I find something better, but for now I'm going to leave it. I have a couple of pattern papers from the Felicity Jane um, Fala La kit from last year, and I really love them. I'm trying to decide if, if I were to not include these two papers, this could be a fun way to take this, although it feels a lot more um, cutesy a little bit than, than these patterns, so I think I will not use it. I did get this one. This is also from the Chamel Christmas Magic Collection, and I really like, because it matches with the other papers in the Chamel Collection, I really like the way this one feels. Um, the back side, I don't know if I'll use. It's a, it's a darker red than what I was thinking might work, but I definitely could. And I think I'm leaning more toward a traditional green than this kind of um, aqua color. And But I think I could leave that aqua color in if I eliminate this one. This one's just not working for me. So I think I'll leave this one. This one I will definitely be cutting apart if I use it or using the back. So we'll see about that. I found this red print, and this is from Ellie's Studio, and it's called Hugs. It's from the Love You More collection, which I think is a, a Valentine's line. And I like the brightness of the red in here, and the background is a really nice um, print that I think lends it feels like what I want to include in my kit. So I'm going to leave it for now. I do still want to include something that has multiple colors in it and I haven't seen that yet um, so let me pull a few more here I pulled this paper which is from a Dear Lizzie paper pad because I like the music notes and I always like music notes for Christmas but I can see right away that it's a little bit I don't love the way that it looks with the rest of the patterns so I'm going to eliminate that and this is another Felicity Jane paper from the Fa La La kit. And this is a really simple pattern, but it's not quite the right coloring, so I'm going to eliminate that. Um, I did pull this paper because I think that um, even though I have this gold specialty paper that I will be including, um, I think silver and gold would be fun to include in this kit, and I really like the idea of cutting up some of these frames. I've had this paper in my stash for a really long time. This is from SEI, and the back is a nice bright green too, so I think I could use both sides of this. So I think I'm definitely going to include that paper. Um, I have a few more from the Glitz. I think this is the Finley collection. Um, I think that this paper could work really nicely with these. I don't know about the back side, but it's possible too. I like the way it kind of plays with some of these patterns. So I think I'm going to slide this in here. Just going to slide it like that so I can see it. I think I really like it, but that may mean that I exclude this Ellie Studio. I'm trying to get a good balance of coloring here. I pulled this paper from the My Mind's Eye Lush collection. This is super old too, from 2010. And I thought about this 
um, bringing in a bit of this bright green. It has it on both sides. I kind of like the way it's looking. I mean, sometimes it's easier to tell if I slide it in with the other papers. I think that could work really nicely if I were to bring in another dark green. And I'm starting to second guess this pattern here now, but we'll see. So I have to admit, I bought more of that Chamel collection than I thought I would. And um, so this is another one from the Christmas Magic Collection. I don't know about this side particularly, but I kind of like the, the weight that this side brings. Um, if I slide this in here, it brings a nice um, heavy element to the kit that I think is lacking a little bit. I don't know. I think I might include that one. This one I was thinking for sure I would include because I like the wood grain. I remember I said I wanted um, kind of a warm feeling. I decorate with wood and gold a lot. And so I really like the, um, the tree print on the background too, which definitely brings in those green colors I was thinking of. So I'm thinking about eliminating that glitz paper and keeping the Chamel paper. And I really like the way that this Lemon Lush paper looks with it. And so I think that's a good combination. So I usually do about 10 patterned papers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Here I have 12. Um, I might look for even just one more that kind of brings everything together. So that's all that I had pulled in my stash. Oh no, I had one more. This is from Pink Fresh Studio. This is a Christmas Wishes. I don't think I'm going to include this one, even though I think it could work with some of the elements of this kit. Um, it doesn't work with a lot of it. So I think I'm going to exclude it. But I do want to find another, actually, if I include it for the background, I like the way that it plays with this paper. I do need to find an aqua. Let's see. You know what, I think I will include it, actually. And maybe that will be my final paper. I also pulled this specialty paper from Jen Hadfield. This is a newer one too. That's gold wood grain um, that I might include. And then I've got this paper as well. So like I mentioned, I usually choose 10 pattern papers and then a couple specialty papers and a couple of cardstocks. But I think in this case, I'm gonna go with more is more and include a bunch. So. I think that what I have here will be a sufficient amount for what I need. And I'm gonna call this good as far as pattern paper and specialty papers. I feel like both, all three of these are kind of specialty papers. And I will go ahead and look for a few pieces of cardstock that can go with this now. Okay, so I don't use cardstock very often unless it's just a little piece of it to mat something or to mat a whole layout on. Um, I do use white cardstock quite often, so I've pulled these six sheets, which is more than I thought I would pull, but of um, cardstock, and I included a dark green, a lighter, brighter green, a red, which may be a little too bright for what I want, but I'm going to include it anyway just in case. I pulled a craft piece to bring in some of that warmth. We'll see if I use it or not. And then I always include white. I'll have, I'll probably throw in more white than is here. And then I also threw in this kind of warm color, which I think looks really nice with these patterns. And so I'm going to include that as well. So this is what the pattern paper looks like for this kit. I'm gonna put these in some sort of order here. There we go. So here you can have a, a quick glance at all of the pattern papers for the kit and all of the card stocks. And just for fun, let me show you what the backs of these patterns look like so you can see how those can also work. So on the back you can see it's a lot richer and that'll be nice to work with if I want to use the other sides of some of these patterns. I think that they will all work really nicely. So I'm going to go ahead now and look through my, my stash here and see if there are any, um, we'll go to alphabets next, alphabet stickers. Okay, so again, I've pulled a little bit more than I usually pull. I usually pull one or two smaller alphabets and then one or two larger. In this case, I've pulled four large because I wanted to include silver and gold. So I have these thickers, they're called Twinkle. 
These ones are called Jingle, aptly named. Um, these ones are called Elf, also aptly named. And then these ones that are a red glitter in journal. Now, I don't, I've never used these. I don't know that I'll ever use them except for, for Christmas stuff. And so I thought that's why I should include these here. So I may or may not use all of these, but I'm going to include them. So I'll put those down here. And then for a small alphabet, I pulled these ones from Basic Gray. It has three colors, which I think all three colors could possibly work in this kit. And these are a tile alphabet. And then I also pulled these gold ones from Studio Calico. These are super old. Um, well, I guess they're a couple of years old. And they are called, I don't know, accent stickers. And I just pulled two of them because I have two sheets. And that way, if I run out of any letters, I can use those. So those are gold as well. So those are the letter stickers that I'm going to use. Now let's move on to maybe some sticker sheets and a few embellishments. Before I move on to the sticker sheets, I did forget that I wanted to include this sheet of glitter, silver glitter paper, and I believe it's from American Crafts. I've had this for quite a while in my stash, and I've used it in bits and pieces on some holiday layouts and really love the way it looks. So since I'm including two gold specialty papers, I'll include two silver as well. So just tossing that into the mix. There's no rules here. Of course, you can include as much or as little as you like. Uh, this is rather quite a lot more than I usually include, but I'm okay with it. Um, okay, so now we'll go ahead and move on to some stickers and different things like that. Okay, so I pulled all of the um, holiday stickers and stuff that I had. I don't have many, and they're all pretty old. Um, this one is from last year's Felicity Jane kit. And I think that I can make this work. While, while the papers didn't seem to work, I think little embellishments could definitely work. Let's be jolly, peace, love, and joy. These are in the colors that I like and that work with the kit. So I'm going to include this. Um, I have this little sheet, or these are like little chipboard pieces from Close to My Heart. And I think some of these would work, but... I just don't, I'm just not drawn to it. I, I like the aqua that it brings in, but I'm just not feeling it. So I think I'm going to not include it. Um, I have these stickers from Cartabella. They're a chipboard sticker. And some of these would work really well. The December 25th um, and like this little banner. I like the aqua that that would bring. Um, I don't know if it really fits the feel of the kit. I'm going to put it aside for now, but I may end up including it later. This is from that same line, Merry and Bright, and this is basically an alphabet sticker sheet. I already have alphabets, and I'm not going to include that. This one has the warmth that I like, and even though it's an alphabet sheet as well, I think that some of these could work for what I want, and I like this aqua here. Um, this is from the Lori Whit Whitlock This and That Christmas line. So I think I may include that one. This is from that same line, and there's just a few stickers left. I included this in my December daily kit a few years ago, and so I have used some of it. Um, this is from Echo Park, again from that same line. This is from 2012, so it's a few years old. And I think I'm going to include this as well, just because it, it has that warmth that I want to bring in. Um, lastly, I have these stickers from the Pink Paisley Mary and Bright collection, which I think was last year. They have numbers on them and they are silver. Um, I think I'm not going to include these. These are more for a December daily type album and that's not what I'm going to create with this stuff. I know that I have a Felicity Jane kit coming in December that I'll probably use for my December daily if I decide to do one. So, um, I think that's all that that I'm going to include as far as stickers go. So now let's move on to some of the smaller embellishments. I do have all of these Studio Calico wood veneers that are holiday themed, so I'm definitely going to include those. These are a few years old, um, and I don't know when else I'll ever use them, so I'll definitely include those. And I have some red and white little sequin things and some little jingle bells and some silver sequins. So I think I'll include those. Um, I have some tags. I'm pulling 
to be quite honest, I'm pulling a lot of this stuff from an old December daily kit that I made. Um, these are from Pink Paisley and they are really super cute and they are holiday themed and I think they bring that warmth to the kit that I like and so I'm definitely going to include these. There's an L there. <laughs> so I will include those for sure. This is getting quite messy, isn't it? Um, I also have a whole bunch of tags from American Crafts that are just this um, craft color. I'm just going to put these back in my stash. I know if I need something like this, I'm okay to dip into my stash for stuff like that. Um, I do have some of these Maya Road canvas, oh this isn't Maya Road, design canvas minis. I thought it was Maya Road. Um, they're just like little canvas tags. I don't think I'm going to include these. I think these could be used for anything. I also have two canvas stars. I am going to include those. Um, I do have some embellishments that are from, I mentioned I didn't have a lot of holiday embellishments, but I do have some from Basic Gray. I bought a die cut package a few years ago and they have some of the colors of the kit. Um, some of these won't work, but I think some of them will. So I'm gonna go ahead and include them. There are some brighter pieces that, that might not work, and I'm, I don't have any of this navy color anywhere, but a lot of the colors will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in. I don't have a lot left. I used it in a previous December daily kit, so I used a bunch of it up in that. But <clears throat> let's just add to the pile here. Okay, so for a few finishing touches, I pulled a few flare, and these three are from last year's Felicity Jane kit. No peeking, a little Christmas tree, and this little snowflake on red. So those match nicely. And then these two are from a Studio Calico Christmas flare set that's quite old. So I'm gonna go ahead and include those. I also have one more I just remembered that says Mary, and it kind of fits the feel of this kit more than it fit the feel of the kit that I included these with originally. So I'll go ahead and include that. Um, I do have some, these are from Crate Paper, I believe. These are like, some of these are in vellum. There's just stitched little kind of adhesive backed tag thingies. And they say, happy holidays, walking in a winter wonderland, peace on earth, and let it snow. I have these rub-ons from Studio Calico. They are silver stars, so I'll include those. I have one red doily, so I'll go ahead and include that. And I always like to include some sort of trim. So I'm going to include two washi tapes. This one is from Recollections. I got this at Michael's on clearance just last week. And it is um, gold striped washi tape. And then I have this um, red polka dot. You can see it better there maybe. From October afternoon. And I think that that will work nicely here. So that is going to be my kit. Now I do allow myself, you know what? I'm gonna throw these in too. These are the Maggie Holmes glitter uh, stickers. These are fairly new. Since I have a silver uh, rub-on sheet, I'll include this gold glitter sticker as well. So it's a bit of a different gold than some of the other golds I have here, but I don't necessarily have to use them all in the same layout or anything like that. So that will be my final embellishment to include. Of course, I will allow myself to pull from my stash for things like mists and inks and um, like stencils if I want any of that or enamel dots. So just keeping that in mind, this is going to be my, my Christmas kit and what I'll use to create layouts in the month of November, kind of gearing up for the holidays. And then, like I mentioned, I will have a Felicity Jane kit to use in December for my December daily if I decide to do one. So. Um, I hope that this has been helpful for you. I will be sure to have um, links to all of the products that are available that I used or um, some close alternatives over on my blog as well as in the product or in the video description below. And if you want to see still photos of all of these 
products laid out. I will include them at the end of this video as well as over on my blog at craftygenscow.com. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you'll play along and put together a Christmas kit of your own, whether it's for some Christmas scrapbooking or if you're gearing up for December daily or whatever it may be. Um, just keep in mind to include patterns and colors that um, will complement each other nicely and to get a good variety and include as much or as little as you like. And You'll be seeing me work with this on every Thursday in November. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. So really quickly, I wanted to show you how I store my kits. So this is an iris container that I got from Michaels. You can get them at Joanne also, I believe. I've even seen them at Hobby Lobby. Um, you can also buy them on Amazon, so I'll be sure to link to those below as well as over on my blog. And I just wanted to show you these containers come... Um, just as an open container, but you can buy this little insert, which is called the craft organizer tray. And I love this tray. I got this from Nicole Jones 911. So she's the first one that I saw using this. And I haven't gone back since I started doing this. I love keeping kits this way. It's just a really great um, way to house everything. I've got all of my papers and my sticker sheets and my um, thickers on the bottom here. And then resting on top, I have all of my embellishments. I cut up that Felicity Jane uh, cut apart sheet here. I did do decide to include a few of those um, close to my heart chipboard pieces so I just threw them in and then I forgot to mention that I was going to add in this bag as well as these two stamp sets. This one is the Felicity Jane Fa La La kit from last year and it just has a bunch of really cute little icons and phrases and then this one is from close to my heart it's called Magical Moment. I don't think this one's available anymore. I know that you can still get this one on FelicityJane.com if you want to go check that out um, but I'm going to use this one anyway. This is a stamp set that I um, had a big part in the creation of when I worked for Close to My Heart and so this is just one that I just extra love but um, you can stamp the word December up in this little top piece and then the numbers right here and then journal right here so this is a great December daily stamp set but I'm going to use it just for some regular scrapbooking so that is how I'm going to store my kit I also wanted to mention I will be having some Christmas um, cut files in my shop in the next week or so and I will be using those throughout this as well so be looking for that and we'll talk to you very soon bye bye